Chapter 4 Beam and the Buffalo Beam was a poor farmer. He lived with his wife and two children in a village. He had a small patch of land where he grew vegetables. His two buffaloes gave milk to the family. Beam and his family were happy and they always thanked God for what they had. The children grew older. Beam needed more money to send them to school. He and his wife decided to sell one of their buffaloes. They were sad to part with the loyal animal that served them for many years, but they had no other option. The next morning, Beam set out for the cattle market in the town with his buffalo. On the way, he met a man with a horse. The man said, Friend, I want to sell my horse. Would you like to exchange it with your buffalo? Beam thought that was a good idea and happily gave the man his buffalo. But soon he discovered that the horse was lame. He felt disappointed and continued walking. Soon a man came with a cow. Beam told the man what had happened. The man said, Don't worry. Take my cow and give the lame horse to me. Beam was very happy with the man's kindness. Soon Beam realized that the cow was blind in one eye. He felt disheartened. He sat down under a tree unable to decide what to do. Then a man came that way with a goat. He offered to exchange the goat for Beam's cow. Beam agreed but afterwards found out that the goat was sick. Sad and confused, Beam next exchanged his goat for a hen. It was evening. Beam was hungry and tired. He sold the hen for a few rupees and bought some food to eat. As he was about to start, an old beggar walked up to him. I have not eaten anything for many days. Please give me something to eat. The beggar pleaded. Beam felt sorry for the beggar. He gave all the food to the beggar. Beam returned home hungry, tired and without a paisa in his pocket. Beam's wife and children were not unhappy with him for losing the buffalo and making no money. His wife said, You have done the right thing. One must never turn a hungry man away. The family went to bed after dinner. When they woke up the next morning, they were amazed at what they saw. There stood in front of Beam's house a line of animals, a young buffalo, a healthy horse, a cow, a goat and a hen. There was also a bag of gold coins. After a few moments of surprise, they realized what had happened. Beam's wife said, I am sure the beggar you met was God in disguise. All this is his reward for your kindness. Beam's family had no more worries and they lived happily.